Hello, 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 welcome to Firearms of America and this is another winter jacket review for my ultimate survival jacket collection, obviously winter jacket section. And this is the most popular winter jacket on Amazon, yes, one doll. Who would have thought, right? You would think Columbia or North Face. No, it's One Doll. Have you ever heard of One Doll brand? Me neither. Anyway, so this is the most popular jacket on Amazon. Currently over 6,000 reviews and almost five stars. So, well, I thought, you know, definitely worth, worth testing, worth checking out. Uh, overall, let me give you a brief description. Overall, I cannot complain about this jacket. Photo price, currently 79.89. Yeah, because a few uh, other competitors, good competitors to this jacket are $79.99, so they made it $79.89, so that you can save 10 cents. Yes, pretty good, pretty nice of them, why not? Uh, <laughs> uh, it offers really good, definitely, definitely a very nice warm jacket. The quality is decent, I cannot say it's fantastic, but it is decent, you do have the wind uh, protection, you do have removable hood, you do get the uh, nice, sleeve gloves which i absolutely love they they help with you know keeping you in the keeping you warmer and also the wind protection overall a pretty good jacket i can see why it's almost five stars uh with more than six thousand reviews but if you do have time stick around let's get into it like i said this is specifically for my ultimate survival jacket section of videos obviously the winter jacket uh so how do we make a judgment whether it's a good ultimate survival you know if, if this was your jacket that you put on it was winter and something bad happened and you put it on and you run out of your house and you have to walk run fight hide i don't know climb in this jacket would this be a good jacket for all of this survival situation okay so the criterion number one is a comfort level jacket is very comfortable overall it's the comfort is definitely good it's fairly lightweight there isn't really any weight to it all this fleece and as you can see the fleece doesn't go all the way down it only goes a little bit more than halfway not more than half probably 80 percent uh so it doesn't add a lot to the weight so pretty good on the comfort level can't really say uh much about it comfortable number two i think one of the more important ones whenever it comes to survival situations is the not the flexibility of material because this is what i usually use to describe most of the clothing the t-shirts the pants and stuff like that but Obviously, you're not gonna have the flexibility of material here in the winter jacket, duh, right? But is it restrictive of the movement? And it is a little bit. Compared to a few other jackets that I have reviewed, this is pretty restrictive whenever it comes to the movement. It's not very fitting, but nevertheless, even though it is a relaxed fit, it is a little bit restricting to the movement, especially whenever it comes to your arm movements. If you wanna raise your arms all the way up, uh, if you're trying to box, I don't know, it is a little bit restricting of the movement. Keep that in mind. If that's important to you, look around. I've done a few other reviews on this channel. Check out them as well. Okay, so number three, re really quickly, durability and quality. Now, durability-wise, the jacket is fairly good. I wouldn't recommend, however, doing anything crazy in it. Uh, as you can see, stuff does go and you will find a lot of complaints uh, about this particular issue of seams going uh, going out on people and I mean th this really how it is uh, you know Chinese companies making products like these they start with a product they invest a lot of money into it they almost make no money of selling it they build up the reputation and then they start saving money and using cheaper materials here and there and they their quality goes down so it is i it's not normal obviously but this is typical it happens okay uh another thing i wanted to point out here whenever it comes to the quality is the zipper the main front zipper is so far of all the jackets that i have reviewed this is the worst zipper that i have seen so far uh it is just let's see it's all right but it's not very good you know i i wish they did a little bit better job okay let's uh 
down with the quality overall like i said it's almost five stars so people do like it although you will find a lot of complaints as well because a lot of people buy it and you will find a lot of complaints of rips here and there and the zippers not doing their job uh just do your research and buy at your own risk i guess but this jacket does shine whenever it comes to the features. Okay, so let's start with the features. Let's start with the pockets. First of all, you do have your standard winter jacket front pocket over here where you can put your firearm. I honestly don't know what else you would put in here. Firearm, yeah, it's this firearm channel after all. Put a firearm in there. And then you do have your two bigger pockets over here as well. And you do see that there is a, a little bit of material here that covers up the zipper, which is kind of nice, but can be annoying because stuff can catch on here. Now, like I said, the front zipper, the main one, is not very good. I'm not a big fan of it. But nicely, you do get three buttons, one on the very bottom and then two at the top here and here. And you have two Velcros in between so that it holds nicely. And yes, surprisingly, some jackets, they actually do come without this Velcro. So this piece just flaps around. Not the case in here. Okay, so let's see what else we have on the inside because we do have more uh, stuff going on on the inside that I wanted to point out in this review, which I am very happy about. First of all, you do have your zipped pocket over here on this side. And you do have a basic mesh pocket right here. So something quick, something whatever you can just put in there. You do have your special wind protection lining. And as you can see, this uh, um, surface right here is actually very sticky, right? So it will stick to whatever you are wearing underneath. And you can decrease or increase the tension of this because this is actually rubbery by just simply disconnecting this. Uh, also, as you can see, this this has buttons right here as well on this side and on this side. So you can attach it together to make sure that it's really holding you nice and tight and gives you a really good wind protection. But here's the thing. Whenever it comes to wind protection, this is not the only thing. There is also tightening mechanism right here on the very bottom to make the bottom tighter to give you some extra wind protection, which is very nice. So far, I think... Whenever it comes to the wind protection, Wando, this particular jacket, is doing the best job of all of them. And of course, you do have your hoodie, which is removable, again, with a very terrible zipper, unfortunately. But it features a decent Velcro over here and some wind protection here as well. Like I said, I'm going to repeat myself again. So far, of all the jackets that I reviewed, this is the most wind protection that I have seen so far. Now, all of the hoodies, they do have this wind protection, but this double is just, she's just great. Okay, so uh, speaking of the number five criterion, the balance application really quickly, obviously this is a winter jacket, so you would only use it for your winter situations, your colder situations. Uh, so not much to say over here. Criterion number six, the sizing, this is a size small and it is definitely true to the size. It's not one of those Chinese products where, you know, in order to get size small, American size small, you have to buy size XXL. Chinese. No, this is not the case here. This is definitely this, this is definitely size small. Although it is a more relaxed fit. It's not very uh, tight. I do like a little bit of a tighter fit. Anyway, criteria number seven, uh, temperature. I've tested this jacket in the 30s. So it wasn't, not, not really 30s. It was, it, it was 30s. It was 30. Yeah, because if I say 30s, it sounds like maybe 38, 39, that's almost 40. No, it was actually 30. Uh, so it, was, it wasn't really that cold, but I did wear this jacket with just a t-shirt underneath and it was definitely doing its job very well. This sleeve is very, very warm, so pretty good. If you, if you have experience testing this jacket in a colder temperatures, let us know in the comments below. It will be very, very helpful. And the criteria number eight is the price. Like I said, this color black in small is currently $79.89 currently on Amazon. The link is in the description below if you want to check it out. Now, the best part about this jacket, <laughs> besides the wind protection, right? Uh, and a very affordable budget-friendly price is that it has a whole bunch of different colors available Probably about 15 different colors. 
you can get yourself in red, blue, light blue, dark blue, different colors of beige, different colors of green, gray, almost white, very light gray, so a lot of different colors. Uh, again, the link is in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, it is right there. So, overall a pretty good option. I am definitely happy with this jacket. I wish they used a little bit better zippers and a little bit of a better quality control because this is, this is just not good. And I mean, it, it just would be an unbeatable jacket because I mean, the wind protection here is just spectacular. It's really, really, really good. Um, but other than that, really, you know, like I said, buy it at your own risk. And if you do buy it, just be careful with the zippers, you know, and, and don't make too fast of the movements with your arms. Although it's not very good for your ultimate survival situation because you probably will end up doing some fast movements with your arms. But I had to mention it in this review. So let me know, guys, in the comments below what you think about this jacket. Would you consider that for your ultimate survival situation or would you consider it for your regular, you know, hiking outdoors? purposes whatever it is you're doing in the winter time uh, if you found this review useful please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button because both of those help this is still a growing channel so every subscriber definitely counts thank you very much guys for watching this was firearms for america and i'll see you in the next video